Hello everyone, today we're looking at a uh, Kimco Mini LS Comfort Mobility Scooter. Um, it's got an issue where it's going over bumps and essentially it's showing on the diagnostics like there. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. I actually know what's wrong with it already, I've already diagnosed it. But um, I would like to show you how I go through the process. So essentially what was happening with this was every time he went over a bump, the machine would stop okay and it seemed to be related to the brake here because when you're driving a mobility scooter one of the most uh, common things with faults is the brake going um so i'll just show you i'm going over a bump you see the way the brake moves a bit now if the switch was gone you can see here now it's fine but if we throw over some severe bumps okay so going over the bumps it flashes so what i'm going to do here is this flash is a basically a diagnostic system. See the pause? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pause, okay? So essentially what's happening with it is um, the customer reported to us anytime it was going over a bump, it would cut out on him. So yesterday when I was there, we kind of gave it a bit of a shake about. And how you do that is, like it was raining yesterday so we couldn't really go outside and the same with today but essentially what i did was just lift up the back of the machine and drop it down just about an inch from the ground nothing crazy because eventually any machine working or not is going to cut out when it happens but we lifted up the machine a couple of times dropped it and i got nine flashes on it on that dash so what happens is that green light will blink nine times then a pause nine times and it'll keep going again and again in a loop um and when we went up and looked up the kimco user manual because like you can look it up by the controller there's normally two or three different types of controllers in the mobility scooters and you can look up the fault codes that way but then you need to know what controller is in the mobility scooter so sometimes it's actually easier just to uh get the user manual it'll have all the fault codes in it so i went on to google kimco mini ls fault codes up comes a website nine flashes break fault so we're going to have a look at the brake on this now, see the condition of the switch. Um, and essentially that lever, when you push it to go into neutral and back into drive, that lever is on a micro switch and that can get crappy over time. So let's take a look at the micro switch inside the wheel and we'll see what we're looking at. Right, so this is a machine that can be split apart for the car. So if it's one of these smaller machines, split it apart would be a lot easier. Now, just remember, if you want to undo your wheel, you're actually better off doing that when the machine is actually all together, because you can literally, essentially have someone sit in that scooter and you can loosen the wheel. Because trying to do that wheel when it's sitting up like that and holding it at the same time, is just going to be awkward. So I pre, uh, I pre loosen this wheel. Now, the next most important thing, don't lose this. And the secret to everything, do not ever, see that part here, that little square thing? Never lose that. That's your key, okay? Without that in, that wheel will just spin. It's like a CV joint or an axle, okay? So if you imagine that center bit here with a hole in it, that'll spin, and the wheel, that connects them to the axle to the outer wheel. Without that key, you'll, you'll go to drive and that thing will just stay spinning in the middle there. It'll go nowhere and yeah trust me i've done it a few times it's not nice at all so what i'm going to do take off the wheel it's never going to come off as easy as that by the way so it's the wd-40 if you need to keep that key somewhere safe okay you have your wheel put it all over there let's have a look at the brake okay so immediately i can see this look at that micro switch looks crap on it okay so what I'm going to essentially do is solder on a new switch here. But essentially when you're looking to drive this machine, if that's not in this position, it won't go. So you know when you put your machine in neutral to freewheel it, that hits down that micro switch, that disables it, okay? So that stops you driving a machine that has no brakes because the second you do this lever, your brakes are gone, that freewheel. And I've seen lads where they bypass the switch and they're going down a hill and the thing won't stop when they let go. It just keeps rolling and rolling slowly onto a road. At best case, you'll get a fault where there's a motor overcurrent um, where the scooter's like, hey, but again, how's the scooter stopping, you know? So yeah, that's how the brake actually works. And usually it's a micro switch, okay? 
So if you've got a mobility scooter that stops every time you go over a bump, most likely it's this, and specifically this micro switch that's on it. I think they're an SS5 micro switch. Well, I'll put a link to them micro switches in the description and uh, we'll take it from there. But for now, I'm gonna take this switch off. I'm gonna take note of the pin configuration as well. It's the two outside ones. Um, because some of them will connect one to the outside, one to the middle, and uh, we'll solder on a new switch. Okay, so we got a switch here to replace it. Okay, now that's a red micro switch. Um, there's different colors, so red is a stronger one, black is like the weakest, white, orange, there's different ones. We're just going off the footprint on that there. It's the same switch, okay? Now, never mind the fact of this here. There was a lever on this. It's the only one I had. Just popped it off. But, um, so I'm going to take this one off now. I'll put this one on. And we'll start soldering. Now, something I've just been a few weeks since I've looked at one of these last. I forgot to mention as well. That isn't a missing hole. That's a receiver. That's there to, it has to be pressed down. So, you can see the new switches in there. I push it. Okay, so now I'm gonna solder a wire here, just like the other switch and a wire there. Some will actually go on one side in the middle, so it's like always on or always off, okay? So I've got some shrink wrap around this as well. Same with this one, shrink wrap, keep it away from the solder. And I'm gonna now solder here and here, okay? We'll be back to you in a minute. Okay, so that's been soldered there. So always trying to get some shrink wrap on it as well. And sometimes it's easy to take the break off. But it can be meaning that you have to line up the brake and everything else and take these parts off. But that's done now, so we're going to give it a spin. Now, another thing I've noticed here, okay, because we're on about connection issues and all. Look at these connectors here. They look scorched. Okay, so we're going to clean them out as well. Do not use a wire brush on both of these at the same time. Because you can gather what can happen. That's plus, that's minus. So I'm gonna give that a clean with a kind of abrasive dry one. It looks like a scouring pad, it's not. It's more like a sandpaper type thing. So I'm gonna get in here. And if I have any issues getting in here properly, I'll strip the batteries down. Okay, but yeah, let's go at this. It's a lot better. Not a permanent solution, but it keeps our connection ground for another year or two. All right, let's put this battery in and give it a test. Okay, just to clarify, that's flashing right now. It won't go. Why? Because the brake is still in neutral. Put it back into drive. If we've done the job right, it should work. There we go. Let's give it a test and put it through some bumps. So guys, that's how you fix a Kimco Mini LS with a brake issue. Very easy. So as we were saying earlier, split it apart. If you can't, then get it up on a stand or something. Take off the wheel to the side with the brake. Ideally try and put a new switch on the brake while the brake's still on. Otherwise you're getting into an alignment issues and that's nearly a bigger video actually. So try not to take anything off, get a solder iron, solder a new switch on. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe. And if you really care about me, maybe sign up as a member on Patreon or on YouTube. You do it on YouTube for very little every month and that helps in my videos. Like and subscribe once again. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.